thalamus. The thalamus is a midline symmetrical structure of two halves, within the vertebrate brain, situated between the cerebral cortex and the midbrain. Some of its functions are the relaying of sensory and motor signals to the cerebral cortex, and the regulation of consciousness, sleep, and alertness. The two thalamis surround the third ventricle. It is the main product of the embryonic diencephalon. Anatomy The thalami are parts of the forebrain superior to the midbrain, near the center of the brain, with nerve fibers projecting out to the cerebral cortex in all directions. The medial surface of the thalamus constitutes the upper part of the lateral wall of the third ventricle, and is connected to the corresponding surface of the opposite thalamus by a flattened gray band, the interthalamic adhesion. Morphology Both parts of this structure of the brain in the human are each about the size and shape of a walnut. These are about 3 cm in length, at the widest part 2.5 cm across and about 2 cm in height, comparable to an unshelled walnut, with the nutshell joining in the horizontal plane. The two thalami are prominent bulb-shaped masses, about 5.7 cm in length, located obliquely, about 30 deg, and symmetrically on each side of the third ventricle. Blood supply The thalamus derives its blood supply from a number of arteries, the polar artery, posterior communicating artery, paramedian thalamic subthalamic arteries, inferolateral, thalamorgeniculate, arteries and posterior, medial and lateral, choroidal arteries. These are all branches of the posterior cerebral artery. Some people have the artery of Percheron, which is a rare anatomic variation in which a single arterial trunk arises from the posterior cerebral artery to supply both thalami. Thalamic nuclei The thalamus is part of a nuclear complex structured of four parts, the hypothalamus, epithalamus, prothalamus, formerly called ventral thalamus, and dorsal thalamus. Derivatives of the diencephalon also include the dorsally located epithalamus, essentially the harbor nila and annexes, and the perithalamus, prothalamus, containing the zona inserta and the thalamic reticular nucleus. Due to their different ontogenetic origins, the epithalamus and the perithalamus are formally distinguished from the thalamus proper. The thalamus comprises a system of lamellae, made up of myelinated fibers, separating different thalamic subparts. Other areas are defined by distinct clusters of neurons, such as the periventricular nucleus, the intralaminar elements, the nucleus limitans, and others. These latter structures, different in structure from the major part of the thalamus, have been grouped together into the allothalamus as opposed to the isothalamus. This distinction simplifies the global description of the thalamus. Connections The thalamus is manifoldly connected to the hippocampus via the mammillothalamic tract. This tract comprises the mammillary body and fornix. The spinothalamic tract is a sensory pathway originating in the spinal cord. It transmits information to the thalamus about pain, temperature, itch and crude touch. There are two main parts, the lateral spinothalamic tract, which transmits pain and temperature, and the anterior, or ventral, spinothalamic tract, which transmits crude touch and pressure. Function The thalamus has multiple functions. It may be thought of as a kind of switchboard of information. It is generally believed to act as a relay between different subcortical areas in the cerebral cortex. In particular, every sensory system, with the exception of the olfactory system, includes a thalamic nucleus that receives sensory signals and sends them to the associated primary cortical area. For the visual system, for example, inputs from the retina are sent to the lateral geniculate nucleus of the thalamus, which in turn projects to the visual cortex in the occipital lobe. The thalamus is believed to both process sensory information as well as relay it. Each of the primary sensory relay areas receives strong feedback connections from the cerebral cortex. Similarly the medial geniculate nucleus acts as a key auditory relay between the inferior colliculus of the midbrain and the primary auditory cortex, 
and the ventral posterior nucleus is a key somatosensory relay, which sends touching proprioceptive information to the primary somatosensory cortex. The thalamus also plays an important role in regulating states of sleep and wakefulness. Thalamic nuclei have strong reciprocal connections with the cerebral cortex, forming thalamocorticothalamic circuits that are believed to be involved with consciousness. The thalamus plays a major role in regulating arousal, the level of awareness, and activity. Damage to the thalamus can lead to permanent coma. The role of the thalamus in the more anterior pelidal and nigral territories in the basal ganglia system disturbances is recognized but still poorly understood. The contribution of the thalamus to vestibular or detectal functions is almost ignored. The thalamus has been thought of as a relay that simply forwards signals to the cerebral cortex. Newer research suggests that thalamic function is more selective. Many different functions are linked to various regions of the thalamus. This is the case for many of the sensory systems, except for the olfactory system, such as the auditory, somatic, visceral, gustatory and visual systems where localized lesions provoke specific sensory deficits. A major role of the thalamus is devoted to motor systems. The thalamus is functionally connected to the hippocampus as part of the extended hyocampal system at the thalamic anterior nuclei with respect to spatial memory and spatial sensory datum they are crucial for human episodic memory and rodent event memory. There is support for the hypothesis that thalamic regions connection to particular parts of the mesiotemporal lobe provide differentiation of the functioning of recollective and familiarity memory. The neuronal information processes necessary for motor control were proposed as a network involving the thalamus as a subcortical motor center. Through investigations of the anatomy of the brains of primates the nature of the interconnected tissues of the cerebellum to the multiple motor cortices suggested that the thalamus fulfills a key function in providing the specific channels from the basal ganglia and cerebellum to the cortical motor areas. In an investigation of the saccade and anti-saccade motor response in three monkeys, the thalamic regions were found to be involved in the generation of anti-saccade eye movement. Development The thalamic complex is composed of the perithalamus, or prethalamus, previously also known as ventral thalamus, the mid-diant cephalic organizer, which forms later the zona limitans in travelamica, ZLI, and the thalamus, dorsal thalamus. The development of the thalamus can be subdivided into three steps. The thalamus is the largest structure deriving from the embryonic diencephalon, the posterior part of the forebrain situated between the midbrain and the cerebrum. Early brain development After neurulation, the anlage of the prothalamus and the thalamus is induced within the neural tube. Data from different vertebrate model organisms support a model in which the interaction between two transcription factors, Fez and Ot, are of decisive importance. Fez is expressed in the prothalamus, and functional experiments show that Fez is required for prothalamus formation. Posteriorly, Ot1 and Ot2 are both the expression domain of Fez and are required for proper development of the thalamus. The formation of the mid-diencephalic organizer MDO At the interface between the expression domains of Fez and Ot, the mid-diencephalic organizer, MDO, also called the ZLI organizer, is induced within the thalamic anlage. The MDO is the central signaling organizer in the thalamus. A lack of the organizer leads to the absence of the thalamus. The MDO matures from ventral to dorsal during development. Members of the SHH family and of the WNT family are the main principal signals emitted by the MDO. Besides its importance as signaling center, the organizer matures into the morphological structure of the zona limitans in Travelamica, ZLI. Maturation and parcellation of the thalamus After its induction, the MDO starts to orchestrate the development of the thalamic anlage by release of signaling molecules such as SHH. In mice, the function of signaling at the MDO has not been addressed directly due to a complete absence of the diencephalon in SHH mutants. Studies in chicks have shown that SHH is both necessary and sufficient for thalamic gene induction. In zebrafish, it was shown that the expression of two SHH genes, 
SHHA and SHHB, formerly described as TWHH, mark the MDO territory, and that SHH signaling is sufficient for the molecular differentiation of both the prothalamus and the thalamus but is not required for their maintenance and SHH signaling from the MDO alloplate is sufficient for the maturation of prothalamic and thalamic territory while ventral SHH signals are dispensable. The exposure to SHH leads to differentiation of thalamic neurons. SHH signaling from the MDO induces a posterior to anterior wave of expression the pronural gene the urogen in one and the major, caudal, part of the thalamus, and ASCL1, formerly MASH1, in the remaining narrow stripe of rostral thalamic cells immediately adjacent to the MDO, and in the prothalamus. This ornation of pronural gene expression leads to the differentiation of glutamatergic relay neurons from the neurogen in 1 plus precursors and of GABAergic inhibitory neurons from the ASCL1 plus precursors. In fish, selection of these alternative neurotransmitter fates is controlled by the dynamic expression of HER6 the homologue of HES1. Expression of this hairy like BHLH transcription factor which represses neurogen in but is required for ASCL1, is progressively lost from the caudal thalamus but maintained in the prothalamus and in the stripe of rostral thalamic cells. In addition, studies on chicken mice have shown that blocking the SHH pathway leads to absence of the rostral thalamus and substantial decrease of the caudal thalamus. The rostral thalamus will give rise to the reticular nucleus mainly whereby the caudal thalamus will form the relay thalamus and will be further subdivided in the thalamic nuclei. In humans, a common genetic variation in the promoter region of the serotonin transporter, the SEAT long and short allele, 5 HTTLPR, has been shown to affect the development of several regions of the thalamus in adults. People who inherit two short alleles, SERTSS, have more neurons and a larger volume in the pulvinar and possibly the limbic regions of the thalamus. Enlargement of the thalamus provides an anatomical basis for why people who inherit two SERTSS alleles are more vulnerable to major depression, post-traumatic stress disorder, and suicide. Clinical significance A cerebrovascular accident, stroke, can lead to the thalamic syndrome which involves a one-sided burning or aching sensation often accompanied by mood swings. Bilateral ischemia of the area supplied by the paramedian artery can cause serious problems including akinetic mutism, and be accompanied by oculomotor problems. A related concept is thalamocortical schythmia. The occlusion of the artery of Percheron can lead to a bilateral thalamus infarction. Korsakoff syndrome stems from damage to the mammillary body, the mammillothalamic fasciculus or the thalamus. Fatal familial insomnia is a hereditary prion disease in which degeneration of the thalamus occurs, causing the patient to gradually lose his ability to sleep and progressing to a state of total insomnia, which invariably leads to death. In contrast, damage to the thalamus can result in coma. Gallery Images are circa 